And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I'm back with another video. So today I wanted to talk about what we can expect from NBA 2K21, my team, over the next week, week and a half, essentially the last few days of the season. We got about nine days left in season seven, which is cool. I like the shortened season just because people get season fatigue, so I'm glad they kind of figured that out. Uh, four weeks is a perfect length for a season. Now, that won't be the case once they stop monetizing packs and uh, we have to pay for season passes in this game, which will happen in the next few years. But either way, let's look forward to what we can expect for the next nine days. So I don't think we get anything in relation to TT offline. We did just get this Gerald Wilkins, which I'm glad they kept Larry Kanan up there too. But I'm guessing this weekend we'll get some sort of uh, triple threat event of some sort. Uh, maybe they fill up the vault and TTO with some, you know, kind of vaguely outdated cards for people to grind for. They did it last season, and I'm guessing they're going to do it again this weekend. The player base is kind of down quite a bit, so they're going to want to put out something this weekend that gets people playing the game in general. And I think that's one of the best ways that they could do it. So we could see a bunch of different cards go up there, possibly like some low tier dark matters like Derek Rose and stuff like that. Same on TT. Um, now, are we going to get they're going to keep Bailey Howell up there for sure because they kept Larry Kanan. I'm not sure if we're going to get another dark matter reward or if they're going to replace Moody and Gary Harris and put two other cards up there and have it be an exchange thing. That's entirely possible as well. Like I said, I'm not sure what they're going to do about that, but we're definitely getting a new card. This weekend as well is when everyone's going to be getting Elgin Baylor, so we'll finally get to see what he's all about. I'm not really sure, to be honest, what to expect from this Elgin Baylor card. He might be pretty good, he might not. So tomorrow we will be getting another rewind set in addition to two, probably two rewind sets next week as well. Um, my guess is, what what's the theme? This one's all blocks. So it's like a block themed set. I'm not really sure what we're going to get tomorrow. We could see like a steel set or an assist set. I think we will still we will see at least an assist set at some point, which I'm guessing a new card will be like Dark Matter, Chris Paul or Dark Matter, someone who gets a lot of assists. We could even see like a Dark Matter Jokic. I'm not sure. But if it's steals based, I don't know. Could be anyone. I think realistically, this set was pretty good. All the sets we've got from these rewind packs have been solid. Like, the four cards they put in them, they've all been pretty good. Even this set, like, John Wall is the worst card in this set, and he's relatively solid. He's just, like, a slightly worse version of the Opal Reward we got a few seasons back. So, But we're definitely seeing a new rewind set tomorrow, and then we'll see another one probably Monday, and then I'm guessing another one Wednesday, and that'll be it for the rewinds. Like I said, they're all going to be themed in some sort of way, and I'm guessing they're going to be stat-themed. So we'll get an assist one. We'll probably get like a three-point shooting one if we haven't already. I can't remember if we have. I've done pack openings on every one. It's just like they all kind of blend together. So, I mean, it's we'll see what's up. I'm interested to see what we're going to get there. Like, we could see a bunch of different guys, like Jason Kidd might be in the mix. If it's an assist one, John Stockton makes a lot of sense. So, like, a dark matter john stockton which no one's really going to get that excited for it's just some content for them to throw out there so it makes a lot of sense he could even be an invincible john stockton like i have no idea it's tough to really say friday on the other hand i think it's pretty safe to assume that we're going to get idols like r realistically i i think so and i'll talk about why in a second now Jokic is another candidate for an idols card he's also a candidate for being the dark matter in a rewind set just kind of depends but for my money idol series three is probably going to start this weekend and i think the most likely candidate would be luka Dantic, personally just because they know idols packs don't sell as high but if you throw like a hyped player like luka in there it, it probably will. So it only makes sense. If you remember back to 2K20, because 2K is extremely predictable. Like they, they follow the same plans pretty much all the time, at least from the last year's game. They'll, they'll follow the timeline a little bit on that one. And around this time last year in 2K20, they began Idols 3 with the Lucas set that had Dino Raja in it. So I don't remember exactly when that was, but that was really close to around this time. Um, so only makes sense they still have to pump out an entire new idol set like five different idols packs still have to come out i don't think they scrap it completely because they have something planned for it 
Luca makes a lot of sense. He sells packs on his own, so you might as well put him in an Idols release because Idols themselves do not sell. So putting someone like a Luka Doncic in there, or even like a Kevin Durant, but we already saw KD in an idol set this year. We're definitely getting a Dark Matter KD at some point, but I think the Dark Matter Luka makes the most sense for them currently right now. So do not be surprised to see Dark Matter Luka on Friday. And honestly, less surprising would be an idol set period. Like, I'm almost shocked that we're not going to see that. <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked to see a Opal Dino in that idol set. Honestly, I wouldn't. Would it shock you guys? I don't think it would shock me at all to see that. Like, them basically rehashing the entire Idols 3 first set from last year and the Idols first 3 set this year? No, not shocking at all. Other guys we could see if it was Luca, like Maxi Kleber, um, some other Euro guys, maybe like a Pink Diamond, Drazen Petrovic or something. But it's really tough to, to tell. Like, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really something you can try to guess uh i think luca makes a lot of sense but like i said it could easily be wrong you guys know i never care about my predictions like that it is possible we see retro on friday we haven't seen a retro set in the past two seasons from 2k retro 3 was the last one and that was at the end of season 5 so i don't know i would like to see retro on friday but i think they'll just kind of sweep idols out there like it makes the most sense business wise for them like it's the end of the season the least amount of people are going to be playing the game at this point anyway so you might as well kick an idols pack out there try to scrap a little bit of money together and then like you know whatever then use like a retro set to try to bring people back but i don't know i'm not <laughs> i don't work there so i can't provide my insight i suppose uh, my insight would be a little more different we will be seeing some new coaches at some point. Like, there's no possible way they introduce the idea of a Dark Matter coach only to have it just be these two, right? Like, there's no way. I highly, highly doubt that's the case. And it wouldn't shock me at all to see the Grand Domination Prize be another coach. Like, it wouldn't. We're definitely getting a new domination starting in Season 8. And there is going to be a Grand Prize for completing every single one of these dominations. So what the domination is going to be probably something like playoff domination or finals domination something of that nature or you know called like road to the playoffs domination just a bunch of playoff teams and stuff what the player is going to be it's definitely not going to be someone that sells packs for sure so you won't see like a lebron or anything like that in the mix it'll be like a dark matter that wouldn't necessarily sell packs so i don't know who that could even be but it, it remains to be seen you are going to have to get all these done you might have to wait just to see because I don't know exactly what they're going to do with the Domination Grand Prize. So I'm not going to say go grind all these Dominations and go grind like all those Evos, which like if you didn't do them at the beginning of the year, there's like no point in doing them now. You know 2K, like there's no point in stressing yourself out. They'll release a packable, basically a packable version of the card, whatever card that is, that's better. They've already done it for the Spotlight Sims, basically, like everyone was hyped on jimmy butler and then they just released paul george and Pax that weekend so they're notorious for releasing better versions of their award cards within the two weeks after they drop like that's just how 2k does so that's why i never trip over the reward cards themselves jason tatum somebody's gonna get him at some point but i don't think anyone really cares at this point so <laughs> you know it is what it is like they released a dark matter tatum when there's a dark matter tatum like available here pretty soon so I, I don't know what to tell you on that i wish they had more rewards like last season and the season before you know the card collection rewards there was rewards every hundred or so cards granted they weren't really that good towards the end of the year actually none of them really were except anthony davis was pretty solid and Dwayne wade was good for a bit but like it was at least something to grind for like i don't I don't care at all about Tatum. Like, I have no interest in getting that one. And it's 2,000 cards are the difference between two rewards, which I think is, like, way too much. They really cheaped out on that one. I don't really know what the deal was there. I mean, I like the level 40 rewards better than that, but still. Now, are they going to open the token market again towards the end of the year? I don't think so. Like, I don't think we're going to get any more token market updates uh, for this season. I think that was it for the token market. 
they're never going to bring the token market back the way we knew it in 2k19 and 2k20 just because 2k is doing battle with all the mt sellers and stuff like that and that's one of the easiest ways to harvest um like a lot of mt in a quick succession would be the token market like just me playing the game like just buying players and stuff not even selling mt or anything like that like i used to get hundreds of thousands of mt just off token market alone play tto garner a bunch of tokens go in there just rip packs and quick sell everything and i used to make like a lot of mt doing that as well as i'm guessing a bunch of you guys did so if they do open it again in the next nine days it's probably just going to be something like we saw earlier maybe a couple hoff badges in there maybe like one two three players that'll be a little pricey on the token front so you can't make that much mt off of it stuff like that which uh, they'll end up crashing the market on whatever player it is so it's always just better to like buy it with mt anyway like when it came to dominique wilkins like he crashed so hard you could pick him up for like 8k mt 8k mt is significantly better than the amount of tokens that he was going for at that point like we're getting more token players next friday anyway i wouldn't spend any tokens at this point like we have no idea maybe they do open it up but i doubt it we could even see an event that in includes like an agenda type thing like we did earlier in the year but i don't think so i think it's going to be a generic uh tt event like we saw last season because that was really successful and everybody liked it so i'm guessing 2k is going to put something like that again for the last week of the season or they're just going to give up on season seven and nothing's going to happen but as always it's been your boy cheap ludes check the description for all my stuff and i'll be back later peace